Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Knowing when, why, and, and even how to say no is such a valuable skill as a developer. But it is a bit of an art form because there's so many various contexts and situation where this could apply. You know, a couple examples, right? Are you a freelancer that's working with a non-technical client and they don't understand how development works? Well, that's a completely different situation than if you're working on a large development team at a large company, or maybe you're just a solo developer working with the CEO of a startup and you have to have conversations with them. Or hell, even if you're an indie developer and you have to say no to yourself, right? Because as indie developers, we want to build all these features. Well, if you ever want to ship, you're going to have to say no to a lot of features. So again, knowing when, why, how to say no, so powerful and so essential as a developer. So the gift and the curse of being a developer is that we can build pretty much anything, right? On an infinite timeline, infinite budget, you know, we can figure out pretty much anything. Um, but as you know, we never have an infinite timeline. We never have an infinite budget. In fact, most times the budget is really tight and the timeline is really tight. So that's why saying no uh, is, is a huge thing. However, on that note, I wanna be clear that saying no isn't like crossing your arms and saying, I'm not gonna do this. No, oftentimes saying no is a compromise because oftentimes the requested features are a lot more than you can build within the timeline and within the budget. So uh, this compromise I like to talk about is this spectrum of complexity that I've mentioned in, in my previous videos. And a feature has a spectrum of complexity, meaning you can build this insanely robust feature, but it's gonna take a very long time but there's also a version of that feature that's the quick down and dirty and you can probably knock it out in a day or two. It's not gonna have all the robustness of the fully robust version, but you know, there's two different versions and I call the spectrum of complexity everything in between, right? And you know, you can land somewhere on that spectrum as part of the compromise of saying no to the fully robust feature because you just don't have the time or the money, uh, but landing on some feature that makes the client, the, your manager, whoever happy. Saying no or working on that compromise we just talked about uh, also helps out because it reduces a lot of feature creep. If you've ever worked at a company or worked for a client, you know you hear this all the time. Oh, hey, can we add this little extra thing in here? Can we add this little extra feature? And on the surface, that one little extra thing or extra feature isn't a lot, but those things start to add up. That's why it's called feature creep. And before you know it, you're turning out like half-assed features, half-assed products because you've taken on so much. You've said yes too many times that now you're just overworked and you don't have enough time or you don't have enough budget. And that's never a good thing. And this art of saying no, it definitely comes with experience. I remember when I first started development, I did. I said yes to everything because I wanted to prove that, yeah, I can do this. I'll, I'll work day and night, I'll do this. And it's just a bad spot to be in because like I just said, you start over promising and under delivering and now that starts to, to look poorly on you. Like you don't know what you're doing because you can never deliver on time. It's because you're saying yes to everything. So if you're a junior developer just getting started in this world, like I completely understand the desire <laughs> to say yes to everything. Um, but just keep that in mind. It's gonna do you more harm than good. And let's talk about like how you can say no because you're probably wondering like, who am I? I'm just the new person on the team. I can't just say no to features, right? They're, they're telling me what to do. My manager's telling me to do this. So there's definitely, uh, you know, when I say say no, that's kind of hyperbole. It's again, back to that compromise and, and how you do it is very important. And it often involves just having a reasonable and rational reason and discussion. Again, oftentimes it's it's marketing or a product manager or the CEO of a smaller startup, or maybe you're freelancing and it's a client that you know may not fully understand how development works and why it takes so long. The key here is your communication skills. This is where this comes in, is having a conversation and breaking it down like reasonably and rationally like yes I know this idea is great you know if we had more time and more money or maybe another developer maybe a bigger team you know yes we could build this out but you know what I am just one developer at this small startup or freelancer or whatever you know we just don't have the time or the resources maybe we can do a lesser version of that feature that I can you know deliver on time and from what I've seen in my career again at smaller startups uh, independent contracting indie developer because uh, I understand if you work at Google you may not have the ability to say no or compromise right you know, you have a much higher level of hierarchy uh, to deal with at these larger companies. So just for the context, but you know, th this marketing team or the product manager or the CEO of a small startup or, or your client, you know, they have the best intentions. They just might not, you know, realize what they're asking for, right? Because on the outside looking in, oh, it's just a simple screen. It doesn't look that complicated. You could probably knock that out in a day or two. 
and they, they just don't realize that you know your your code base has roots right and everything's all tied together so what may seem simple on the surface is actually a pretty complex uh operation and again this is where your communication skills come in to sit them down talk them through it. Uh, not only will your developer life be easier, but your actual relationships with your teammates will be much better because you took the time to sit them down and explain and, and compromise on the idea. Like they were part of the process, right? You definitely don't want to be just the developer folding their arms and saying, you know, no, I'm not going to do this. Like do not come off with that attitude. Even though I'll admit sometimes in my head, when, when somebody asks for a feature like that in my head, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, right. Um, I never say that, you know, we, I, I go through it and I, again, break it down rationally and reasonably on like why it's not a good idea to, to do this or, or what kind of compromise. And what I found helpful is don't make them feel like their idea is a bad idea or wrong. Like it can often be a great idea, but one part about being a developer, especially at smaller companies, is you have to triage all the good ideas because you can only work on like one thing at a time. So, you know, you can say, hey, like this is a great idea. However, we're prioritizing A, B, and C first, and then we'll get to your idea D. But in the meantime, maybe we can build a, a lesser version of that, right? So, again, you don't want to make them feel like you just shut them down, right? But explaining that, we'll understand that, okay, yeah, we do have bigger priorities in this idea. Cool. And they just get it. And again, your your team is working much better together. Your life as a developer is much easier, all from saying no and compromising on something. And another thing to keep in mind is that a no isn't forever, right? Just because you said no now doesn't mean that feature can't come in, you know, in a later version, a couple months from now, or maybe even a year from now, right? Software is never finished. So the lesson here is that saying no or compromising on features is a very powerful skill set to have in your developer toolbox. And it really boils down to your communication skills on how you do it. Again, a reasonable and rational explanation, work with your team, communicate, right? Those communication skills. And I know as a junior developer, you, you just want to say yes to everything, or you think saying no is going to make you look bad, like you don't want to do any work. No, that's again, that's why you explain your rationale. But just trust me, if you say yes to everything, you're going to be overworked, you're going to overpromise and underdeliver and it's just only gonna look bad on you. Uh, I learned it the hard way, trust me. Uh, saying no is so powerful. Speaking of saying no, if you've been considering building and maintaining your own website for maybe an app or your portfolio, maybe it's time to say no to yourself. That brings me to today's sponsor, Squarespace. Now, of course, if you're a web developer, build your own website, don't do it with Squarespace. However, for all us other developers, right? Mobile developers, game developers, machine learning, AI, like maybe it's not worth the opportunity cost of your time to build and maintain the website and it's better off to let Squarespace handle it. Squarespace is a great way to get a beautiful website up and running very quickly. They have all kinds of beautiful themes for you to work with. They handle all the SEO and the analytics for you. So even though all of us non like web developers, yeah, sure, we could build our website, but you know, dealing with the headaches of all the different screen sizes, mobile, you know, maybe the different browser compatibility, like it's actually a headache to build and maintain a website over time. So again, I just, I just let Squarespace handle that. I'd rather be building apps. So when you're ready to start building that website, go to squarespace.com to start your free trial today. And when you're ready to launch it, go to squarespace.com slash Sean Allen to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. So again, learning to say no is a vital skill for a software developer. In this video, we went over like how, when, and why. If you have any questions, leave some comments below, start a discussion. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the next one.